hello everyone in continue with the previous lecture let us discuss a further topic under fiber to fiber joints the first one is called a mechanical misalignment and this is the most common problem occurs when we try to join two fibers and there are three different types of mechanical misalignment three most common mechanical misalignment in a fiber to fiber joints they are lateral displacement longitudinal displacement and an angular displacement the third one so there are situations when we try to join the two fibers this is the fiber axis when we try to join two fibers then its fiber end faces may go like this the two fiber faces uh, the fiber axis are separated by a distance d then we call it as a lateral displacement and second one is called the longitudinal displacement where the end face of the fibers are separated by a distance small distance s we call it as a longitudinal displacement and third one here the two fiber axis the axis of the two fibers will make some angle okay theta then we call it as a angular displacement so of the three possible uh, mechanical misalignment the power loss is very high for the axial displacement first we will discuss the axial displacement between the fibers then we will proceed to longitudinal and angular displacement so we are going to see the axial displacement for a step index fiber and greater index fiber separately first we will deal with the step index fibers the mechanical the axial displacement problem of a step index fiber let us consider a two step index fiber whereas that is the core of end face of a fiber and this is the second fiber So this is step index fiber 1 and this is step index fiber 2. So when we try to join these two fibers, only this area from step index fiber 1 and this area from step index fiber 2 are face to face each other. Then the remaining area are that are not comes and that the this this area does not face step index fiber 2 and this area will not face the step index fiber 1 so this shaded area is represented by the common core area of a step index fiber whereas this circular region let's say this is step index fiber 1 and this is step index fiber 2 whereas this circle corresponds to the fiber core face of a step index fiber 1 whereas this circle represents the fiber core face area of step index fiber 2 and when both the step index fiber 1 and 2 or have a they if, if both S, SI1 and SI2 have an axial displacement of D then only part of the region from step index fiber 1 and part of the region from step index fiber 2 are common only some portion are common that portion is represented by a shaded region whereas this is the center region of step index fiber 1 and this is the center area of step index fiber 2 whereas A is the fiber core radius since the refractive index we know very well 
the numerical aperture of a step index fiber is common throughout the core region we can calculate the power coupling from SI1 to SI2 through the common region between the two fibers that is given by a common is equal to 2a square into this equation and one can calculate the coupling efficiency of a step index fiber which is equivalent to the ratio of the common core area to the fiber end face area that is given by pi a square a common is this area whereas pi a square is the whole area only this from through this area only power is coupled but this is the total area that is given by pi a square clear so we will continue our discussion about graded index fiber in the next lecture thank you